Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 11th to the 17th of January 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your angel answer card message. Okay angels, what is the message for Libra? Okay, card has fallen out. What do we have? Oh, opportunity. And this angel is receiving the shower of gold, you know. It feels like there is some beautiful opportunity here. Okay. Message for Libra, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Librans, please. 11th to the 17th of January 2021. 11th to the 17th of January 2021, please. What does Libra need to hear the most? Thank you. That flew out. Yeah. <laughs> I like the fact that this mermaid is, is finding treasure, value, abundance. Wow, that is such a nice energy. Okay. So I'm going to pull four cards. The first card is you, your current situation. The second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message, Libra. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, so message for Libra, please. Angels, spirits, guides, 11th to the 17th of January 2021, please. What do we have for our lovely Librans, please? What is the message Libra needs to hear the most? For the week, thank you, that flew out again. We have the world. This is your present position. It's a big energy, the world, okay. Five of coins was your challenge, or is your challenge. Funny, I said was. Uh, we have the three of coins is the advice from spirit. And the ten of swords. Okay, that's your outcome. So let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. For Libra, please, Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you. So we have Temperance. Card of Sagittarius. The Two of Wands clarifies the Five of pentacles the ace sorry the three of coins it's funny i said the ace of coins uh, we have the two of co two of swords clarifying the three of coins and the ten of swords is clarified by the ten of coins bottom of the deck we have the high priestess so let's clarify this ten of coins at the end please can we clarify this Ten of Coins at the end? So we have the Four of Swords. Okay, so Libra, there is definitely a message here. It feels to do with your money, career, finances, because very specifically, there is a message of an opportunity that is bringing incoming, blossoming abundance. It's beautiful energy here. So you're finding some kind of treasure. And the message with temperance, I mean, temperance can be a card of balance or getting balance back in your life or how you've adapted your beliefs, your actions in a changing environment. And there's a level of patience here, patience, your actions by adapting to change and finding the way through what has been, it feels like a difficult situation, volatile situation, extreme situation, you're finding the way through. Uh, but there's a level of patience as well, Libra. But we have the world, which is a card of success, accomplishment, worldly success is coming your way. Um, this is wonderful in terms of money and career. I mean, you can't really get much better than the world card um, in terms of money and career, because this is a goal achievement card, getting exactly what you want. Um, 
it's a card of victory, success, being ready to step through a new phase of your life as well, having learnt lessons from the past. But what this has done for you is taught you things to equip you on your new journey. So there's definitely an energy of learning lessons here, having learned experience and valuable life lessons, but they've equipped you for some sense of victory, accomplishment, ready to go through to a new phase of your life. So it feels like something is about to shift here. There's a sense of goal, accomplishment, success, achievement, victory. Winning through is the card of winning, you know, um, a definite energy of, of coming through the other side of a situation as well. Because the there's a kind of feeling here of being stuck at a crossroads in your challenge position. I mean, the two of ones can be about life choices, the need to make choices, the need to make decisions now. It can be a choice between two opportunities as well. So maybe there's some difficult choice or decision or challenging choice that you need to make. The, the two of wands essentially is where the ace of wands splits into two. So it is the beginnings of progress as well. And it can be about future planning, making decisions based on your future. In the challenge position, it's almost kind of like, is, is, can I, how do I make plans for the future when I'm feeling lack? And again, the five of coins can be about financial loss or something that has destabilized your money, career, financial situation. It could be to do with the pandemic. Um, this can either be, I mean, feeling the pinch, maybe your job or your business, you're getting less money than you were before. It can be in terms of also financial loss, um, feeling outcast, rejected, asking for help from other people, getting help, support from other people. You know, it's that kind of energy. So it feels in this situation, Libra, Something has made you feel like it's destabilized your world, but the message is it is about to end. One second, the door's going. Sorry, Libra, that was somebody at the door. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, there's these energies, the challenge energies, it feels like either to do with the inability to, to plan the future or the future almost kind of like evading you because you're feeling the lack at the moment, you know? Maybe a lack of progress in a situation. But there's definitely an energy of be patient. The steps that you've been doing to adapt to a changing environment. And it feels to do with money, career, business. You are going to be successful. And it feels quite imminent because this is in your present position. And again, there's a feeling of the three of coins is the beginnings of success. The first signs of success, essentially. It can be about teamwork, collaboration. Um, but it can also be to do with jobs, career, money, business, seeing the first signs of success, manifesting, the three is that generally in manifesting a new path, the first signs of something beginning to happen. And the pentacles is something solid, something tangible. So there's definitely this energy of the beginnings of success, but again, this energy with the two of swords of either not being able to see it, lack of clarity, or again, some kind of decision that's required towards this success. I mean, it feels more lack of clarity. I don't see the success coming my way, um, feeling caught at a crossroads, but not really being able to plan your future because you're feeling the financial lack, the career lack, the job lack. It feels that kind of energy. Um, but there's definitely an energy with even though you be, I mean, this can be about weighing up things as well, Libra, but there's definitely an energy of, of success coming your way in the advice from spirit. Even though you can't see it, I mean, sometimes this is about trust your intuition on how you need to maybe make choices towards bringing in a greater level of success. If there are two opportunities or two paths available to you um, to, to almost kind of like move on from this Libra as well. And again, 
the message is, I don't know how to make this decision, the choice, how to bring a level of success into my life. The message is, trust your intuition. Trust your intuition to guide you towards the beginnings of success. If there's kind of two choices, a fork in the road, call it what you will, the message between these two cards is, if you have some kind of lack of clarity, then trust your intuition to see your way forward in this situation because for some of you the success is available to you the beginnings of manifesting success abundance it can be to do with setting up your own business maybe a partnership teamwork collaboration but it's also the beginnings of success could be with a company for example as well so there's definitely a wonderful energy with the three of coins of the beginnings of seeing something solid stable growth in your money career finances so it feels beautiful but there's definitely an energy of being stuck here and the message is trust your intuition because that's what the high priestess says as well this is an intuitive energy you are being guided by god the universe the divine through your intuition and choices decisions if you're feeling at some kind of crossroads here It feels like this crossroads has the ability to bring change to your situation. For example, there could be something, some kind of opportunity. It might not be what you're looking for, but it might well be some opportunity that, you know, may mean life changes for you. You know, it's that kind of energy and where you need to adapt to change in order to bring success, accomplishment, achievement into your life. But maybe there are some, the, the challenges to make some kind of difficult decision choice that will ultimately bring in success. Let's clarify this Two of Swords. Let's clarify this Two of Swords and the advice from Spirit. Because Two of Swords appears when you're presented with weighing something up. A difficult decision. Yeah, and it feels to do with the nine of coins. It feels in this situation, it, it definitely feels Libra to do with money, career, finances, uh, success. It, it might well be the difficult decision is setting up something on your own going for some kind of partnership, teamwork, collaboration, starting up your own business. It can also be to do with maybe some opportunity presenting itself, but you're not sure if it's right for you. And it mean, may mean some kind of like life changes decision, life changes, you know, and it's something that you have to weigh up whether you want or not, but it definitely feels it's going to bring you greater abundance, security. I mean, the, the nine of coins is a card of luxury, material wealth. And the opportunity for this path leads to great success, abundance. So there's definitely some kind of choice or decision or something that is making you weigh up some kind of choice or difficult decision that you need to make in regard to some kind of opportunity. But nevertheless, it is bringing in the wealth, material security, abundance that you desire right now. So again, there's this feeling of you need to make some changes, you need to make some adaptation, you need to adapt to achieve this in. And I feel that's what this choice is all about. Because there is a message here, again, trust your intuition, because the Ten of Swords is can be about loss, it can be to do with um, deep hurt, deep wounds, being stabbed in the back, you know, unexpected hurts could be come from, coming from unexpected sources but it's over I mean the 10 is the completion something has run its course and that's what the world is telling you something is com something it feels like a cycle is completing and a definitely ending with victory and success accomplishment whatever pain this was the pain is over now because for some of you you're being guided towards the beginnings of success and the message is, again, with the Two of Swords, it can be about don't ignore what your intuition is telling you to do now. This is about don't fight that as well, because whatever decision or judgment you're being guided to do, it's leading towards greater material success. 
And again, there's a sense of financial recovery, goal achievement, financial recovery, 10 of coins, um, success for you, for your family, for your abundance. Again, the four of swords is financial recovery. And again, there's a sense of goal achievement, but this can also be a contemplation energy and it's a Libra energy, giving something some deep thought. So it might not be, it might be an opportunity. It might not be what you're expecting here, Libra, I have to say. It may well be something that isn't what you were looking for or was in your master plan, so to speak. But, and it, it might well mean some making some clear choices and decisions. But the message is this is absolutely something that you're being guided towards. So definitely there is some kind of opportunity that is leading towards greater abundance, but there may well be some decision and changes that you need to make in order to embrace that. But I don't think it's going to be a bad thing long term. I mean, this is long term feeling pretty good and happy and successful in your own right, you know, and again, 10 of coins for you and even like your loved ones, your family. It definitely feels in this energy there is some greater success and abundance coming into your life. But there may well be some clear choices that attach to this. But like I said, I see this long term, you know, long term sustainability, nine, ten of coins. It feels very beautiful. Okay, so what do we have for Libra, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Libra. Message for Libra, please, angels, spirits, guides. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I like this because I'm definitely getting that with this as well. You know, the depths of the ocean, finding the treasure. You know, I mean, this it feels like a journey where you've had to really dig deep and discover what you're made of. And you might well be digging deep in terms of finding answers, the way forward in this situation to make this decision or choice. But nevertheless, it feels like it's definitely putting you on top in terms of money, career, finance, abun financial abundance, and feeling pretty good about it long term. We have something hidden is about to come to light, perhaps a secret memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. I mean, there's definitely an energy of digging deep and finding the answer that you seek. Um, but also the fact that you may have had to dig deep to really find the way forward in this situation. And it definitely feels like there is some kind of crossroads that you're coming to. And it might well be an opportunity that you didn't expect or you didn't think was right for you. But nevertheless, it's leading to greater security and success. So certainly consider it wisely and give it some deep thought. Your intuition knows best in this situation, that's for sure. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Libra. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I'll see you next time. Thank you.